Right, so here we have our web page designed in Illustrator. We're going to fly over to Joomla and here's our fresh install. If we flick to the back end now, we're going to go to Extensions Manager and uh, go find our t blank Joomla template and uh, install that. If we nip over to the Template Manager, we're going to make that our default vault template and um, going to do a couple of things to the default settings on the modules. We're going to change the main menu to uh, the menu position for the blank Joomla template as per our mock-up. I'm going to hide the title there. We're also going to turn off the uh, breadcrumbs and login form unpublish those. Let's go take a look at what it looks like in the front end. Once we give it a quick refresh, and there we go, we've got our page. Now, we're going to create a new article, and we're going to create a blank version that we can reuse. See, I'm just turning on and off the uh, editor there, and I'm going to use this bit of code that I prepped earlier it's um, just got a couple of divs that we're going to create a little bit of CSS for and all will become clear a little bit later for that I'm just get that in there and there you go, you can see that in there cool, we'll save that up and we're going to go and change the menu item now to be that article rather than the featured articles which is the default Joomla setting when you uh, do a fresh install of Joomla. We're also going to change the um, page display options to uh, not show the title. Save that up. And so we can control the titles within the text of our uh, articles. Give that a refresh and there we go. We've got our uh, demo article in there. So, the next thing we need to do is uh, take a look at our web page mock-up and we're going to create the logo and we'll just need to go and uh, create a nice tight image for this logo so I'm just going directly from Illustrator and I'm going to save that for web and devices. Just check I've got that right. Yeah, that's cool. Nice and tight. I'm going to keep that on a very high setting. I'm going to save that up. And we'll save that into uh, our demo site folder. We'll call it logo. Great, so now we've got our image. Um, guess actually while we're while we're at it we will get a new module position going for this logo and we'll just call it logo I'll hide the title and we're just going to go and simply grab our image upload that from the demo site folder, there she is. Upload that. Select and insert and uh, save and close. If we go to our home page, give it a quick refresh and oops, we didn't actually give it a position, so we should go and do that. <laughs> and uh, with blank Joomla template we've got rows and that's going to stick on row 1A or row A, module position 1 I should say. Let's give that a refresh now and there we go, okay so we're in business. Next up uh, I think we're going to take the right hand side contact uh, area and we're going to just go grab these little social networking icons uh, we'll probably split them out at some point but we'll just use these as a placeholder so we can build this uh, 
we can build this site up and get that nice and tight. Uh, cool, I think that'll do for now. We'll save that for web and devices and we'll put that in the same folder. Uh, I think we'll call that socials. Shields. There you go. Great, so that's all saved up and we can go back to our uh, Joomla admin. And um, we can go and create a brand new module position. And it's going to be custom HTML. And we'll call this the contact box. Hide the title. And we're going to go grab now the phone number text. And whack that in there. I'm going to give that a div property. I'm going to put a character return in and now we're going to go out and grab those socials, that JPEG we just created and we're going to grab that, upload it and choose it and insert. Oh, I'm not forgetting to float it to the right. There we go. So there we go. We've got our uh, contact box looking pretty cool now although I think what we'll, we should do at this point is give this rather than a div give this a heading style just for the time being we're going to call that heading 2 we're going to save and close that oh oh just realized we need to give that a module position and that will go on row 4 because we need to finish off sorry module position 4 on the same row. There we go. Okay, quick refresh and we've got everything looking pretty cool. Okay, so next we're gonna inspect using Firebug the navigation bar. And if you haven't used Firebug before, welcome to a whole new world. Firebug allows you to change the CSS on a live website so you can see how stuff looks. You can then copy that code directly into your CSS file and your site is updated within a few seconds. It is the quickest and ultimate tool for very, very quick web development and we're going to use it extensively during this demo. So we've got the nav that we've inspected and we're going to change the background color to transparent and there we see immediately it changes it. We're also going to add a border to the bottom like on our mock, we're at one pixel solid, and there immediately we can see it taking shape on the web page. We're going to just give that the uh, hex color of DDD. That's a bit light. We maybe we'll make that uh, all the eights. There we go. That's looking a lot like our mock. Now next we need to copy that and go find our CSS file. Now I've got. Dreamweaver open and is logged into the oh, give that a quick refresh to see our newly installed template inside the uh, template folder the template.css file holds the entire CSS for the, for the template and if we go find that line 146 there it is we just highlight the whole block paste over our copied CSS from Firebug, save that up, go back to our web page, give it a refresh, and the nav wrapper has taken on the new CSS. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the typography now.